Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the third episode of the MBU Podcast, the official podcast for the Marvel Brick Film Universe. I am one of your hosts, Alex from LEGO Chronatic Productions, and today I'm joined by my fellow bombastic backman, Jeremy from Jobor. Hey, what's up, guys? Aaron, Lisa is a nut. Yo. Josh from A Few Good Films, the head of t-shirts for the MBU. Two <laughs> <laughs> We got a guest. We got a guest member today, Face Brick 01. How you doing, Face? Hey, uh, hey oh, I'm fine. Ah, we got an excellent, <laughs> super-sized podcast planned for you guys today. We got three exclusive previews, which may or may not have been an organizational error on my part, but still, <laughs> we got three <laughs> previews. We got six spotlights for videos that came out over the past week, <clears throat> and we got a. We actually organized questions this time, and. It's going to be great. we got to talk about Star Wars trailers. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, all right. So I guess we should uh, we should just jump right into the member interview, right? So, Faze, mm-hmm. how are you doing today? I already said that. You should say, you should say <laughs> it again. I'm fine. Excellent. So when did Life you join good. the MBU, just for a reference for the people? Uh, I joined, uh, I think, the 12th of December. Um, like a week it- ago. <laughs> a week ago. <laughs> Jeremy, don't yeah, date ja- our content. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jack just sent no. a message, and yeah, I I actually applied in November, but got denied, and then a month <laughs> later, I got invited. So you've actually been in the in, in the MBU for almost a month now, because today's uh, the, yeah. I'm not gonna like I'm that. not gonna date our content, but <laughs> that's me thinking. <laughs> All right. Uh, so when so when did you start brick filming? Uh, I I started brick filming six months ago. After watching some brick films like Forest and Cashin and that, and, and is, is, yeah, is, I I got out my old camera and started. And, and, yeah, and that's classic where you, origin story. Is that where you started your uh, your current channel, or did you have any? Uh, no, my, I made my it? channel. In, I made my channel in 2012, but I didn't upload anything. I, I just used it to comment on videos. Mm, and then mm. I then I made my name Facebook one in uh, in August, and yeah. Well, over the past six months that you've been on YouTube, uh, what's what's the what's your favorite film, or what which of your films was the most fun to make? Probably Lego Captain America because it was just like straight up action and it, it was so much fun. Oh, and, and I got Jared to voice in it, the Australian sheet. Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, so, what's what's your favorite shot that you've ever animated? Uh, in episode two of my really old Justice League video, um, Batman and Deathstroke are fighting on the roof, and then there's one part he just like straight up throws him off the roof. Um, it was my first time using force perspective, and it was really fun. That's always fun. So for the MBU, you're making a little series called uh, Nova Corps, right? I. So could you tell us a little bit more about uh, the first episode or the series in general, like what it's about, uh, okay. who's in it? The, the, uh, the, the first episode, um, well, well, for future reference, we're, we're not doing Sam Alexander or Richard Ryder, mostly because we find them boring. Um, uh, now, the first episode starts with focusing on Nova Prime 33 years ago, like when she was a young Nova, and she's tracking some, some very bad dudes through space. And she crosses paths with someone who I'm not going to reveal for spoilers in the negative zone. Mm. So. Swanky. And actually, you have a preview for that that you made for us today, right now. Oh, yeah. We're going to show it to, to the peoples. Yes, great segue. So here's that. <coughs> oh, God. Why did you guys make me wake up at this ungodly hour? It's 9.42 a.m. 
Oh, oh God, my son. We're just oh, so God. considerate. Who's dating content now? Oh. I never dated. I never said the date. I never said it was Sunday, January the 10th, 2016. So now people know we At 9.42 At 9.42 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. <laughs> We're not all at Mountain Time, Alex. Oh, ch- shut up. Can I, can I, can I just... No. Can, I, can I ask something? Uh, sure. Am I allowed to curse? Yes. <laughs> to an extent. Don't say, like, the C word. Oh, come on, that's like half of my vocabulary. True. Just take away from me. Oh, the second Pretty preview... Right. The second preview we have today is, uh, is for LEGO Web of Spider-Man Isle of M Part 2, made by... Uh, Palmerston Pictures made uh, the preview for episode two, and now I don't have the doc oh, open. You're um, such a good host. Yeah, I'm so good at this. You guys should help be a host, yeah, maybe. I don't know, like I, co-host. I, I, you're streaming I'm, I'm not. I'm not exactly <laughs> giving you guys the opportunity here, but regardless. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, continuing the Isle of M story, Island of M story, and here's a little clip of that. Wasn't that a great preview? Wasn't yeah, that great? Ah, uh, and the last we definitely uh, watched a preview. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was fantastic. It I was... remember the bit with an island. I remember the bit with Spider Man and and uh, Human and Torch. Human there Torch. were M's everywhere. Emma Frost. A- Emma oh, oh, Frost. Oh, oh. oh, well done, face. I hate you. <laughs> All right. Um, and the the last preview we have today is f- for Civil War Origins by ETR Films. And Ethan's been working on this for the past month, and it's great. Take a look. You heard me before, Cage. We fight for our freedom. To the very end. wasn't worth it. Wasn't that great? I took a look. (laughs) (laughs) And after that, after that flawless segue, (laughs) we're moving on to Days of Project Past. And first up, we got Immortal Iron Fist Episode 1, created Ooh. by our very own Jeremy from Joe Boy 77. Would you like yeah. to talk about that, Jeremy? What? Would you like to I talk about Episode Jeremy. 1, Jeremy? Sure. Okay. So it's Episode amazing. 1 of Iron Fist has Iron Fist in it. <gasps> Spoilers! Yeah. Okay, so basically, um, Iron Fist gets contacted by Captain America to go check out like the hand. They're like transferring all their armies to the Kunlun Mountains and... Um, the Avengers want to know why, so they send Iron Fist to go investigate, and adventure ensues. It's pretty cool. Take a look. Neat trick. You are going to hate electronic rocks. Favorite MBU video. I want to point that out. Hey, thank you. The rest of y'all. It Jeremy. is. It is awesome. Thanks. Speaking of things I, that Aaron like, Darren. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more than like Darren. If you oh know. yeah. <laughs> DT DT98 Films Guardians Episode One came out like August. Oh, this is a sexy I video. Not because Bo- I was in it. Both of them. Well, credits. yeah. That's the sole reason, of course. Yeah. I Where are the, the Guardians? Guardians. Oh wait, no, you said that in episode two. That was episode two. Where are the guardians? Oh god, that'll that turned out great on the audio readings. <laughs> How much um, did I pay? So much. So much. That has multiple connotations. Anyway, both of these videos both of these videos actually came out last summer. So you can check them out now because they already came out. <laughs> Days of Projects Fast. Here's the Guardians episode one. You're a bookie now. 
Wanna place a bet? Where are the rest? Those criminals, the guardians of the galaxy. Uh, to be quite honest, I did not see this coming. Hey. You played the whole episode that? That's brilliant. What? Yeah. No. Well, no, it's, it's, no, it's a, it's a clip. It, it's, a, it's a little it's clip of it. We'll play your clip. A bit with me. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. I think that's what sure we to played in the new spotlight, too. All right. Um, yeah, that is what we played in the new spotlight. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, now we're moving on to new spotlights. These are the videos in the MBU that have came out over the past month and a half. And December, oh my <laughs> lord. Fuck. Dis you, you, dis might, you might want to redo that. I just hit my knee on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in. All right. Um, now we're moving on to new spotlight, the the part of the podcast where we talk about videos that came out in the MBU over the past month ish since the last podcast. And boy, oh boy, December was quite the month for MBU videos, and I guess early January. <laughs> Aaron. Um, yeah, thought so. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, so. So many videos came out. We have like six videos. Like, five of them are Brick Films, and one of them is something else. We'll get to that later. Uh, first up, we have Lego Doctor Strange Civil War. What was Lego Doctor Strange about? Okay, I'm actually just going to read the synopsis, because Jack made it sound much more interesting than it actually is. All right, well, I'm just going to say for right now, uh, C Civil War, just to clear things up, uh, the Civil War-verse is still in the MBU. It's just in an alternate universe, like how... Like how uh, Marvel has their has their multiverse. Some people were confused on that. Some people thought it was a different project entirely. It's just a it's just another branch of the MBU. Because no so one wants know. Civil War. Much like the Spider Verse. Stuff. Oh, well, roasted. yeah, because Civil War would basically yeah, it mess up, up the everything. entire continuity. <laughs> it's what we do to all the really crap stuff, like Spider Gwen. Oh, oh. oh. or uh, or a spectacular. Is that kind of a burden if it's on yourself. No, that's just or a joke. I love Spider. it. It's the best video of the MPU. No one cares. God. Why are you so salty? Yeah. We're going to talk about Spider Gwen in like two sec. Two seconds. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. In the words that's of fine. Darren, two seconds. All right, anyway. <laughs> So talk about talk about Doctor Strange, okay, Jeremy. Okay, I'm trying to. Yeah. In another <laughs> MBU, Earth's mightiest heroes prepare for a civil war that will shake them to the core. But what of the Sorcerer Supreme? Where does the man with the power to break open the skies and rattle the doors of hell stand in these dark times? So yeah. Spot on Jack impression. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Jack that was actually my movie trailer announcer voice. Ever. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have on the new spotlight is Lego Carnage Unleashed by Tomination oh, I Films. I love how when Carnage is like, "Who's next?" There's two guys obediently get up and stand in front of him. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> in, instead of spoiling it for everyone, we'll just we'll let the people take a look at it. Carnage goes, breaks out prison, uh, attacks a NYPD. It's, and it's excellent. Where do you think you're going, officer? Now we're moving on to Lego Moon Knight Episode 1, White Christmas, by Rad oh. Visuals. Moon Knight is a really really cool video it has some of the best fight choreography in any MBU video ever there's a really really cool bit where someone jumps out of a building onto a car all seamless one shot and then like flies across the street and like hits another building or something it's pretty crazy it's like a Moon Knight origin video and it's really really damn cool so check it out it starts off with a fight scene it's <laughs> yeah. so awesome and it ends with an awesome fight scene guys yeah. it was really it was uh, it was released on Christmas Eve Oh, 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 get yeah, out of here! Oh, 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 oh!
next up uh, for the, I guess, Christmassy videos, kind of. Continuing from Moon Knight, I guess. Well, no, not continuing from Moon Knight because we're still on Moon Knight, kind of, in a way. (laughs) We got Lego Purple Haze, Silent Night, Jessica Jones, Moon Knight Christmas Special by uh, Jampot Studios. Uh, And this was just kind of like a little one-off. And And it went over Jessica Jones, her past a little, setting it up for Darren's... DT DT ninety eight films is uh, 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 Jessica Jones series, which will be coming out sometime. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Knowing Darren, not. Sorry. Eventually. Oh, oh, come on, Jeremy. I know, I'm joking. Yeah. Darren, I love you. Hashtag joking, not joking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So this is great. It, it's got some awesome backstory to Jessica Jones. She's being tortured by uh, Kilgrave. Um, and your mom? I think Kilgrave is following me again. Isn't he locked away? You don't understand. One whisper to a prison warden and he's out. A whole sentence and the raft covers it up. You don't even want to know what a monologue would do. I was hoping... That I could use the light of Conchu to read your memories. See if he's still somehow controlling you. Thank you, sir. Dang it, Darren. Nothing. Yeah, I was about to say, Oh, oh! <laughs> Get out of Top here. Quality banter, Jeremy. God. Yeah, I know. Speaking of uh, speaking of Darren, I mean Aaron. Uh, <laughs> the next, our next uh, preview, the our, our next uh, spotlight, which came out the first of this year, the first uh, MBU video mm-hmm. of 2016, was Lego Sp- the long-awaited Lego Spider-Man. Death from a butt. Yay! When? When? Why did Gwen, Alex? Gwen! God, what did I say? When? <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Gwen. Dang it, Alex. Spider Gwen, Death from a Butt. Just ruined his moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> clap. <laughs> Great job. Dude, I can't. I can't anymore. Ta- Aaron, talk about your video that you came out with. Okay. Um, on April the 11th of 2015, I said in a Skype call with Jack and Darren, you know what, I'm going to make a Spider-Gwen video. And Jack was like, make it for the MBU. And I was like, no. And then after a week <laughs> bugging me, he was like, do it in the MBU. And I was like, shut up. And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, it's in the MBU. And he was like, cool. So it's like eight months later, and I finally released the video that I joined the MBU to make. After making two MBU videos anyway, and it's got Vulture in it, and Gwen Stacy's the spider person of this universe, and it's great, and there are pictures of cats in it, and I will exclusively reveal to this, during the first time she's on her phone, her her service provider is PB&J. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Lego Spider-Man, death from a butt, boom. You said man again. <laughs> Alex kills himself. <laughs> It's okay, Alex. It's Lego not like Spider Gwen, Death from a Butt. Great video. Love it. Here, boom. Was this meant to prey on my vanity? Insult my ego? Nah, Death from a Butt was just funny. The rest? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss these. <laughs> Have I beaten you already? Come on, Baldy, give me a little to work with. That's more like it. Alright, and I guess the last video that came out, even though it's not really a video, it is a video, but it's not really a brick film. Uh, I just It's the 2015 retrospective that I made, so I wanted to talk about it because I have an inflated ego. Um... <laughs> I, I made a little two minute thing and put it on the MBU channel of the uh, of all the videos that came out in 2015 except for Carnage Unleashed because <laughs> because Domination just kind of dropped dropped that on us and I didn't know yet uh, <laughs> anyway um, so it's got almost all of the vi- videos made in 2015 which is like 27 actually yeah so yeah. It, it was a lot to go over Got some swanky mu- music from Philip Olejka. Ole- uh, I don't know his, his last name. Olejka. Um, yeah. Swanky music from there. I spent like eight hours on it, and it's really cool. You guys should check it out. Anyway, project updates. This is the part 
where everyone talks about the stuff they're doing, both MBU related and personally, because that's always fun. Yeah, anyone want to go first? Oh, um, okay. I will, so I can get it out of the way. There's more Spider Gwen coming. I'm doing Yay. original stuff. And there's probably a death set. And I had an idea this morning while in the shower for a Howard the Duck thing that I might do. But I haven't told anyone about that yet, so let's pretend I didn't say that. Ooh, um, got the exclusive. Um, it would be set in Earth 65 as well, by the way. Oh, so, is it when Howard the Duck is running for president? It is a news report where they're talking about the presidential scandal that Howard the Duck is in fact a duck. <gasps> yes! We need the Spider-Ham hallucinations. I don't need the Spider-Ham hallucinations. The, the, yeah, you, you absolutely the, need you them. You need them, well you make them then. <laughs> savage. Anything else? Absolute bloody Straight stuff. savage. Straight savage. Okay. Alright. Okay, thank you. I have to edit. Great. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Alex, edit that out. Aaron, just for you, I'm going to find the most ridiculous cartoony censor bleep I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's going to be like... <laughs> or something. I like how Aaron is basically the Gordon Ramsay of the MBU. All right, Jeremy, go. Oh, 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 okay. Um, so... <laughs> Your body is not ready. Lots of stuff now, okay. So I have Iron Fist episode two still. Stay still, um, phase. Got uh, Boba Fett hunt for Skywalker. You heard it. Heard, you heard it. You heard it here first. Um, what else I got? Oh yeah, I'm trying to do um, the Tiaridar versus Finn. Not sure if it's gonna work though. Um, I might still finish my Star Wars promo, but there are like two shots that I really don't want to do, and that's discouraging. Um, what else I got? Oh, Batman. So Batman you. Season 2. That's cool. I haven't started that yet, but I will soon. And, yeah, I think that's it. Swank. Yeah. <laughs> Swanky. Okay, right. FaZe, since FaZe wanted to go yeah, so FaZe, bad. Yeah, FaZe, go. Jeez. Okay, um, so I got Nova Episode 1. I got 6 out of 20 scenes filmed. Um, I thought you said 7 this morning. Ooh, yeah. you liar. Oh yeah, I did you, 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 you a li it's liar. Liar face. Because liar. One of those Traitor. One of them. One of those frames is literally. One of those scenes is literally one frame. Why is that a scene? Because it's it. Because it's an establishing <laughs> shot, and it's how I write stuff, oh, and I'm okay. stupid. <laughs> no, that's actually technically right. Uh... Thank you, Josh. Anyway, I got no episode one. Um, uh, distant worlds. Uh, then I got a Moon Knight short. Uh, Shield declassified called Slasher. Um, yeah, that's going to be about two minutes. And then I got my personal stuff Hawkeye and Black Widow for my Marvel series. And if anyone listening to this actually knows who I am, you'll know that I canceled my Batman series. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, Hawkeye and Black Widow was canceled for you people who still bug me about it. I'm talking to you, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? Did you? You uploaded the, the footage, right? I didn't. I, I need to. Yeah. I'm pretty should. sure on Instagram there's a clip of the parachute scene. There is a clip, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's actually a lot. Of, you put a lot of uh, I stole clips Jeremy's in your. Jeremy's posts every now and then. I put a couple in. In the, your um, demo reels, right? Yeah, I put a couple clips in there. I actually really like the footage. I just can't be bothered to finish it. Mm. So. Especially because right. I'm like not going anywhere else with my Marvel series. I like I'm, I like canceled that so. I don't want to. So finish. that means more time for the MVU, am I right? Yeah, uh, I only. Hey. Yeah, okay, fine. Hey. Fine. All right, I guess I'll go. Um, I got a whole lot of stuff planned. We we'll see how much of it I actually execute. I got Immortal Iron Fist Great Discoveries. Well, Woo. I'm actually editing that right now, so Woo. Jeremy, finish up Iron Fist, goddammit. No! Uh, <laughs> Captain America and the Howling Commandos Episode 2. I'm scripting it Yay. right now. I'm going to try and get it done scripting it this weekend dating my con dating our content here uh we got a really fun episode planned for this one we got black panther it's great uh lego agent carter <coughs> anti descendants which is going to be sometime this summer maybe that's pretty much it for the mbu so far i'm going to try and get howling commandos episode three later this year but that's like towards the end uh yeah. for my superheroes series <laughs> I got That's so weird I got speak. videos for like three of the biggest superhero movies coming out. I got one for Batman v Superman, uh, Deadpool two. I, I'm still working on the title for that. I actually 
wrote that this weekend, and I think it's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, we also got uh, Civil War. And you mentioned you might do a Lego Spider Gwen. Oh yeah, Lego Spider Gwen. Uh, I'll see if I'll, I'll try and I'll have see if I have time to do that. But I'm well, definitely when Aaron's gonna... got the stuff ready. <clears throat> I'm making some Spider Gwen minifigures, and you can buy them and give me money. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> How much are these figures? They're going to be eight pounds ninety nine, in, uh, not including shipping, which you call like uh, including it's like thirteen dollars for the Americans. Costs, about fifteen dollars, but I'm considering trying to make that as low as possible because they are decal figures. They're not printed, so fifteen dollars is a little bit excessive. But it obviously all depends on whether I make my money back. So you know, capitalism. Capitalism! Right. <laughs> Don't you just want to live in North Korea where you can't be a capitalist? I yeah, certainly yeah, yeah. do. Um, <laughs> thank you for interrupting me, Darren. You did not have the sharing stick. <laughs> you did not. Darren! Darren! <laughs> See, everyone makes a mistake. You know what I'll do? I'll just do my entire the entire podcast in this really crappy Darren voice. Right? Wait, damn it! I, ta- I called you Darren! Yes! <laughs> we did! <laughs> Darren type language. I'll use Darren type language. Okay. Uh, Star Wars videos. I got a short, kind of Force Awakens short called Lego Star Wars back in my day. Han's complaining about the old days. Great. And then uh, I got a new series that I'm working on writing with Aubrey Studios. It's called Boba and Django. And it's about the time traveling misadventures of, ba- of Boba and Django Fett. That's awesome. And we'll see how that works out. And that's basically everything I got planned for now. So It's my slave one. No, it's my slave one. <laughs> It'll be great. What are you doing? I'm driving. No, you're not. <laughs> but. All right. I guess, Josh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel like kind of a schmuck because I'm still not done with Eternal Winter Episode 1. Oh. Um, it's all shot. It's all finished. I'm waiting for like one person's lines. And then I've got like a scene and a half left to edit. So hopefully that'll be out by the end of January if I get the lines in time. Then I'm working on a a collaboration with um, Todd Downing. Um, He wrote. Oh yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Hmm? I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, he he wrote an original with the uh, the Star Wars movie, and so um, he wanted someone to animate for it, and so he asked me, and I said yes. Okay, Alex, please play a clip of that song in this podcast because it's so funny. Having a heart-to-heart with Darth Vader's skull When the light side's tempting you If you want to do evil, I'm telling you Have a heart-to-heart with Darth Vader's skull Darth Vader's Vader's skull skull. Have a heart-to-heart with Darth Darth Vader's Vader's skull (laughs) (laughs) I'd like to do, after I do those two I'm going to start working on Loki's Revenge Part 3. Um, I've got most of the pre-production done. I just have to build a, you heard it here first, a Ghostbusters HQ. What? Uh, yeah. Luckily, I'm not paying $350 for the set. I'm building a facade at home. I only need two walls, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so I got to do... Actually, pre-production is not even close to done. I need a lot of sets. <laughs> And by sets, I mean things I need to build personally, not go purchase. Um, so, yeah, but that shouldn't take too long. There's only, like, three sets I need. Um, and then I'd like to work on... I'm trying to decide if... I'm, what was I going to do after? Oh, then there's the other episodes for Eternal Winter. Um, I can shoot primarily all of those in one sitting. Because they all take place in generally the same area. I'm just waiting on a couple of minifigures to come from... Um, China, um, and then and one from Aaron. If the postal service will, you know, speed up a little bit, that'd be great. Um, and then probably move on to Loki's Revenge Part Four, which um, is Star Wars based. Um, How many parts of Loki's Revenge do you have? I have written eleven of them. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm trying to maybe try and shorten it a little bit, but I kind of like where it is right now. Um, but yeah, episode four, I'm really looking forward to making cause it's got Star Wars and Deadpool and you just can't go wrong with it. So it's the Wombo yeah. combo. All and, right. Yeah. That's about it that I know of for now. There's a few other movies I'd like to work on. Oh, Oh, MBU. I forgot. Um, the invincible <laughs> Iron Man. 
Oh yeah. That you are currently writing. That I am. Hey. hey. There's big, that too, which I'm really looking forward to making. Big, big Trouble in Little Volstock. I love that title so Thank much. Thank you. I'm a genius, <laughs> I know. But yeah, that that's about it. For the beginning of the year, maybe the first half, I don't know. Anyway. I got stuff. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Coral. Coral! 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 Stuff, Laura. <laughs> Thanks. Speaking of television shows and movies and comics and other things, media discussion, which is taking hey, over the place of like... Woo. Whoa. Shrek. Thank you for that excellent <laughs> opportunity, Josh. Uh, this is the part where we talk about various Star media. Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> this, is the, this is the part where we talk about Star Wars and I go. Oh yeah, uh, Josh, do the spoiler thing. Oh yeah. So we're gonna talk about go. We talk about Star Wars with spoilers. So, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> You've been warned. All right. Uh, if you want to, if you want to skip the Star if Wars Alex conversation, is willing, we should like post the time signature where spoilers end. Oh, or, no. I did that last yeah, time, like, so okay, I'll do yeah. that this time again, I guess. Okay. For poop merchant. All right. <laughs> Sammy, classic Sonic fan. How good Sammy. was Star Wars? It was okay. great. I love Star Wars. I like, I like Star Wars. I like Star Wars. Time yesterday. Jeremy's seen it like a million. I've seen, seen it five. I've seen it once. I've Deuce seen it gay. three times. You all suck. Because <laughs> I've seen it more than face. Oh. I've seen it once. It's not a huge achievement. I've seen it twice. <sighs> Where to begin? Han Solo dies. Han oh. Oh, a... <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> nice well, one. Spoiler right up. Been stopped first. <laughs> I remember when I was watching that because I heard all the news about Harrison Ford was not going to do another Star Wars unless they killed him off. So at the very end, I see him walking on the bridge. I'm like, oh, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? And then Kylo Ren gives him the lightsaber and says, I know what I have to do, but I don't think I have the strength to do it. And I'm like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> you know what I got? I got spoiled. That's what I got. Same. I'm pretty sure Darren got spoiled. Darren, Darren was the one that spoiled it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone at Darren's school just like walked in the hallways and shouted the spoiler. Han Solo dies. Han Solo dies. Pretty sure it was um, Han so um Kylo Ren is Han Solo. I got so this. I got this story. So in math class, sometimes we play this game called Kahoot, which you may or may oh, not know. Yes. Yeah, Kahoot, right? Um, where it's basically like you can log on, like on your device or whatever, just enter like a, a code, a pin code or something. And then you, uh, everyone's like in a lobby and it's, a, it's, it's a head to get, it's like a head to head kind of trivia game almost where you, you, uh, click the correct answer. And if you're the fastest, you get points. If you're wrong, you don't get points. Anyway, everyone can have a username. One of the usernames in my geometry, in my geometry class was Han Solo dies. <laughs> and my oh, math my, my math teacher was so pissed. He came in and he was wearing an Empire Strikes Back ugly sweater cuz it was like right before the holiday break and he was so mad. Oh god. Did he it get was... suspended? No, nobody found out who it was. Nobody oh, owned up oh, to it. That's Like my math my math my teacher just left the room for like 5 minutes. And then he I came back. I the same thing. I, I, I rage quit a call. Because, like, Darren didn't mean to tell me the spoiler. He thought I knew. <laughs> I knew a different spoiler. And we were discussing the big spoiler. And I thought mine was a big spoiler. But obviously his was bigger. What well, one was, was like, yours? And, Don't start that. Um, it, was, it was that um, Kylo was Han's son. And Rey beats him at the end of the battle. And I was like, okay, sh okay, so Ren, uh, Ray's a Jedi, and like, you know, or Ray, Ray's force sensitive, I didn't and know Kylo's Han son, and I was like, wow, well, that's massive. So we, we were God, talking about editing, the big spoiler, and neither of us actually said what it was. It was just when we said we both got spoiled, Darren went, is it the big spoiler? And I went, yeah, it's a big spoiler. So we thought we knew the same thing. <laughs> and then we were discussing it, and he went, oh, and this kid walked through the corridor, and was like, oh, f***ing Kylo Ren kills Han Solo. And I think so Alex was editing. there, and I literally went... What? <laughs> I, I rage quit the call and didn't come back for about half an hour. <laughs> okay, so I was like watching like Michael M. Jeff's showcase and I just like scrolled down into the comments oh, out of habit when it was buffering because I always do that. And the first comment was Kylo Ren kills Han Solo, who is his son. 
Oh. I'm just like, oh, wow. Wait, huh. what was talking about. He, he, we were in the theater, hadn't been spoiled. He went to the bathroom, and on the way back to his seat, someone said, man, I can't believe Kylo Ren killed his dad. And so Jordan was like, ah, oh, crap. And then he's like, oh, well. And then he's like, he just still didn't know who his dad was. And then in the, um, it's the part with him and Snoke, and it says, your father, Han Solo. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's That's everyone's fantastic. favorite character? Han Solo. Right. Yeah, I was gonna have to. Wait, say... no, Poe, 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 and Han Solo. Come on. I know, I'm kind of digging BB-8. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the traitor that's... guy. BB... The traitor guy. <laughs> Traitor. He, he had the biggest traitor, arc. Traitor, yeah. <laughs> traitor. Traitor had the biggest. Traitor had the biggest arc. Yeah. Out of everyone. <laughs> that took him over. Uh, that should have been Phasma, though. I don't know. I like Ray. Oh, oh Phasma is useless. No, oh, some yeah. people are calling her the new Boba Fett, but at least Boba Fett participated in some way. Yeah. I think she's got to come back. She's, she's in the other ones, aren't isn't she? Yeah. So. Hopefully they're setting, she'll be cool in the next ones. They're setting her up for The Force Awakens Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's The Force so, Awakens. The, it's the, the Force Strikes Back. The it's the Force Strikes Back. Back. No, no, it's The Force Awakens Strikes Back. I thought it. the Force Awakens plot was a little bit rehashed from A New Hope. Well, it was, but well, it I, think the, I think the reason they did that is because they, they wanted to, to play prove they could do new Star. They could do old Star Wars properly, and then now these next two movies are going to be for the story that they introduced alongside basically rehashing the same plot. I don't think oh, the okay. I don't think the plot was that bad in terms of. Oh rehashing. no, I liked it a lot. No, the the plot oh, itself yeah, was great. There are elements of it. It's not. I think people are blowing it out of proportion how much of a new hope it's like because it's it's clearly its own movie in many senses. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's. It, I love this movie. I love it so much. But I guess, so I guess, it, yeah. I guess the biggest gripe is a third Death Star. Yeah. Even yeah. though this was like yeah. super yeah. mega like, Death Star. Well, that reminds me of Josh's and So video. it's another Death Star. No, I wish it was. And then it's like, here's the Death Star. Huge Star Killer base. Yeah, uh, no, that reminds me of Josh's video. Yeah, that was a complete accident. I had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> and I have a, a guy, third Death Star. A third Death Star. It's a Death Star, but it no has. Idea. It can blow up five planets at once. Guys, got a massive question for you. Mm. Okay. okay. Where does it rank in your Star Wars? Place? Uh, second. Yeah, it's up there. When Which I think Star Wars, sec. I think the original trilogy and Force Awakens. Yeah. Like, for me, it was a Star Wars movie. For me, it's it more might. enjoyable than uh, Return. Don't, no, don't don't go there. Don't don't go there. I say it's um my list is from best to worst is um Empire Strikes Back, Force Awakens, A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, um, Revenge of the Sith, The Phantom Menace, and then Attack of the Clones. But we I don't. don't know, I kind of like the prequels better. Um, okay, hipster, shut up. I'm just, I'm just mad. <laughs> my, my so list, much. yeah, I know. so much. My list is five, four, seven, three, two, one. Uh, I probably like. I uh, don't understand how people like the second one more than the first one. Yeah, because I find certain I aspects of the first one, one intolerable that aren't in that. in the second one. So. I know. I find some aspects of the first one intolerable. A knee. Hayden Christian ruined. A knee. The best thing to come out of the prequels was the Weird Al Yankovic parody, uh, The Saga Begins. That's very true. No, yeah. the best thing to come out of the prequels was... Is Waddle Ani! Cool. The best thing to come out of the prequels was all the Wilhelm screams. Cora! Lego, Clona, Dictus, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Only Jeremy knows what, what he's talking about. Yeah, what I know. None about. of you get that. Yeah, None of I was you. like, wait, what? It's yeah. a, it's a, it's a it's video. A, it's a minimum wage movies video. You have to go find it. It's you, pretty you bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Anywho, um, what else about The Force Awakens? Uh, I guess, what else was... Is JJ nitpick? directing the next no. one? No, 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 no but, he's like, but he's like, a, but JJ's like an executive producer, so... Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I like how Star Trek episode. was JJ's um, demo reel for Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically... Well, yeah, um, Steven Spielberg had actually known J.J. since J.J. was, like, 15. And um, so when, like, the producers were talking with Steven Spielberg about who they should get to direct, Spielberg just said J.J. That's awesome. And JJ yeah. He did a great job yeah. with it. Ben stabbed first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kylo Ren was great. He was excellent. Do, do, yeah. do, I, I watched it. I watched the the movie again last night, and that sound it makes when he slams his head into that like pot of dirt, like the. Yeah, no. like, oh my god, that weight! That helmet must weigh like thirty pounds. <laughs> oh, and um. How is his neck not broken? There's Where a. all the hair for padding. Oh. Wait, guys, shout out to Lord of the Bricks because he made like my favorite Lego Star Wars parody on the internet. It's the it's the Han Solo, Lego Han Solo versus Kylo Ren, and it's them on the bridge, and the lights go down, and the red like red light covers Kylo Ren's face. He moves the the blade to stab Han Solo, and Han just whips out his blaster and shoots him in the chest. Han shot first. first. It's like Han shot first. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Oh god. Like, I love when Kylo Ren, like you, you're introduced to Kylo Ren, and he's like this super sinister, super serious guy. And then he, you know, he tears apart the computer when the guy gives him the bad news. Yeah. And, then <laughs> and, then oh, like, and it's like, oh, that fit of rage. And then you see him. He takes off the helmet. You see how young he is, and everything <laughs> changes. And those fits of control, you know, just pure anger, are actually little t- uh, temper tantrums. Yeah. When he's slicing up that chair, that interrogation interrogation chair, and the stormtroopers yeah. are just like, "Nope," and they leave. Yeah, the stormtroopers are like, "Nope, I'm out." Speaking of the interrogation scene, he, he will Daniel Craig, yeah. Daniel Craig played that yeah. stormtrooper, and and his name was JB 7 Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Really? That's yes. Amazing. Oh it was, my god. Simon Pegg was the junk dealer. Yeah. I'll yeah. That. that was so yeah. great. <laughs> Uh, One there, there were so many cameos. Bill, Bill Hader was the voice consultant for BB-8. Yeah, I know. I saw that in the credits. I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, man. Bill. I love when BB-8 does the little lighter thumbs up. Oh, oh and, that um, was the best. Oh, yeah, the, the aluminum system. Yeah. No, the best part is when he's looking back and forth between Ray and Finn. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty. Like, what, what, what? People, yeah. people in my movie theater. By the way, this was probably the best movie going experience I've ever oh, had because yeah, I, w- I was in there with fans and people, and I oh, live yeah. in I live in a small town of like eight thousand people. I did not know I had big fans like this, and in in the, in the town that I live in, and it was amazing. People were dressed up. People were waving lightsabers everywhere. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And people were more excited to see C three PO than Leia. <laughs> Like when yeah, C3PO when 3PO pops out, he's like, "Hello there! I didn't know if you recognized me because I have my red arm." <laughs> yeah, was, um, people exploded. It was great. Okay, guys, how many times did you cry? I I I I I, I welled up a lot, and I got really mad when Han died because I, I I I didn't I wasn't spoiled yet. I like ugly cried when Han died. <laughs> <laughs> cried when R two D two came back. Oh um, and I cried when the as soon as the opening theme played. Oh yeah, the horns come on. That was ah, but, well, I was like, yeah. Can I just say I called that one with in the theater I was in. Everyone, it's all hushed tones when you know, and then you know the screens go dark. Everyone cheers. The long time ago in a galaxy far, far away comes up. That just kind of silence everyone breathing in, and then the horns start. The logo shows cheering. up. Everyone just freaks right. out. And then as the opening crawl is going, everyone's still trying to freak out while trying to read the opening crawl. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best opening crawl, I think. I, I know. Think. And oh, when it was done, my brother and I, we both put our hands up and we're like, and tilt? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And then it did. It was like, oh, it's a Star Wars movie. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I just, I have a little, I have a little something. Keep talking. I, okay. I got to bring it up. Um, but that opening scene was also like my, I think my favorite opening scene from a Star Wars. Oh, it was wait, so wait. great. That oh, yeah. or a New Hope's opening scene. Oh yeah, you took a video of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's on my phone, and then and then the Force Awakens pops up. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> We may or may not get copyright, but that's fine. Worth it. All right, uh, comic talk. What's everyone been reading for oh, the past um, month? Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Yeah, I actually have been reading Spider Gwen too. Um, and original Hawkeye. sin. I've been reading Spider Gwen and Hawkeye. I don't like I Hawkeye's art. I don't know. Hawkeye's I tried. I tried to read it. I can't. What Hawkeye? Yeah. The only one. Yeah. What do you like about it? I don't like the art. I don't know. God. Oh yeah, Jack told me about that. How you don't like anything remotely good. <laughs> oh, oh. Like everything being supremely generic. Anything as soon as it gets stylized, you run away from it. No, not really. I like just Batgirl. Like you hate. I hate you. I hate 
hate you, Jeremy. Didn't you comment on the Spider Gwen art? No. I like the Spider Gwen art. Someone commented on it and it really annoyed me. They were like, oh, it's not good drawing. See, they don't <laughs> stay in the lines. This guy like, is oh. apparently a 20s mobster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been reading Walking mm. Dead, Star Wars, Darth Vader, Batman, stopped reading Batman Robin Eternal, uh, Spider Gwen, Invincible Iron Man, yeah. Doctor Strange. Yeah. yeah, a lot. Superman, American Alien. American. I spend too much money on comics. Dark Knight Returns! Oh, yeah, and Dark Knight Returns. No, DK3, the Master Sorry. Race. God Master dang it, Alex. <laughs> Speaking of um, that, that's actually really good. That's I've been reading that as well, and I love it. It's great. I didn't know. I didn't know it was monthly. So yeah, it's that, monthly. That makes me sad. It has four issues. It has eight issues. Wait, really? Yeah. How, what? Uh, so that they can have a, a an arc. You think it's half over by the time we just? No. Well, it has like the other ones are four issues. Right? So I nah, was... Well, yeah, but this one's eight. <laughs> Dang <laughs> because... it! I have to... How much money is that total? $48. Uh, they're like $6 each. $48 so. on... Like, I don't know if I can do that. But they $6. have like a mini comic inside. Well, like, I know, but that like actually is part of the story. Yeah, exactly. But I, I know. It's cool. I think $6. I don't know. I've been reading Batman as well. Cause I, I've binged like the, fa the, the past four issues of Batman. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Because have I don't you read ha 47? I don't, I don't, I haven't read 47 or 46 no, dude, because, I, on, because I don't have 45. Because oh. the guy didn't have it. <laughs> I'm not just going to miss an issue, Jeremy. Maybe over there in Cincinnati land you can do that. <laughs> But this is reality, okay? I actually did skip an issue of Star Wars unknowingly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. Also, I've been reading Sp I've been reading Jeremy's favorite comic Batgirl uh yep. because it's great and yeah, and Grayson's back. And oh. Yep. Uh oh, and Dark Knight Returns 3 and Spider-Gwen and Invisible Iron Man cuz awesome. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is something I'm gonna get, but I feel like all you should get. They just released the first issue of Spider-Man and Deadpool, and I've seen a few pages of it. It's so hilarious. <laughs> you should get it, like, all the time. The first frame I saw was them dangling upside down, and Spider-Man's trying to figure out how to get out, and the only thing Deadpool is doing is commenting on how the fact that leather and spandex are rubbing together is really exciting him. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that picture somewhere. It's so good, you should get it. I'll try and find it. All right, yeah. Faze, you said oh, you, you were okay. reading stuff so that you could talk about it. Oh, yeah, it. Um, the, there are no comics was near me, so I always read, like, old stuff. So I picked up the Nova original Sin tie-in with the Cancerverse, um, and I also picked up a Guardians and Avengers crossover. Uh, those are really good, yeah. Um, the original Sin tie-in is awesome. It's a Richard Rider's sacrifice, and, it, uh, yeah, they go to the, they go to the A... A parallel dimension where they can't die and ah, oh, it's awesome. Um, the I oh I, I was talking to Jack about the Avengers and Guardians crossover. Rocket Ra Ra Rocket Raccoon critiques Spider Woman's no not Spider Woman I I don't know one of the Spider characters he critiques her outfit and like says what direction it points in. Oh, maybe it was Spider Woman. Yeah, uh, it, it's got a yellow arrow pointing downwards. Yeah, 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 it's better. Ones. Yeah, <laughs> Rocket's criticisms. That's why Jack was concerned about me getting the, the original <laughs> costume one. Oh, uh, yeah, in Lego, I, in Lego I, that would be I, super I, awkward. Um, a Spider-Woman minifigure um, with the newer costume, and Jack was saying, it's like, it's not the, uh, the older one with the arrow, is it? <laughs> I'm like, no, and I had no idea what he meant. Uh, have you been reading anything, Josh? <clears throat> I have. Um, not a whole lot, because um, there's no comic book site like anywhere near me, um, and I'm, you know, pretty well broke. But um, a while back, I found the they did a reprint for the Spider Woman and Silk um, just after the whole Spider Verse thing. Um, but those all were, you know, gone. I couldn't find it, the other the other ones anywhere. And if I could, they were overpriced. So when they rebooted them, I picked those up. So I've been, I read the first two issues of the new Spider-Woman and the new Silk. Both of them are really good so far. Um, the first Silk was had a lot of interesting twists and turns in it, which were really cool. Um, 
And then uh, I've been continuing reading um, Starfire. Uh, they just crossed over with the Grayson series, um, which I know literally nothing about. So <laughs> I know like the main gist of it, but other than that, um, so yeah, um, hopefully once I start making a little more money, I can start um, branching out a little bit. I'd love to read some of the Star Wars ones and um, catch up on uh, Captain Marvel. So, All right, the Marvel Captain Marvel, not the DC yeah. Captain. Marvel. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> jeez, my voice is getting shot. All right, news discussion, and we gotta, we gotta kind of like whip through this because we're we're approaching an hour here. Oh, really we, need much to to get, we need to hit Q and A. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so the X Men Apocalypse Apocalypse trailer. What's everyone's thoughts about on it? It's awesome. Oh, it's like, fantastic. Like the band back together. <laughs> I like I like the part <laughs> where it's like. I am very confident in their ability. Uh, I, I I love the part where about the Bible. When yeah, they that's were like, what I was gonna say. He got it from the Bible, or maybe the Bible he got, got it from, from the Bible. Him. Now he's here. <laughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, I, that, I, that part was the awesome. Quicksilver scene looks cool. I've never been really excited for X Men movies, but this one I've probably been the most excited. Uh, I, quote I, I don't for, like the X Men so. films, but I really like. This I enjoy them. I enjoy them. I like them all. Yeah, except I, like, I thought X3. Days of Future Past was incredible. Yeah. Oh God, X Men Three and X Men Origins. Oh, we don't talk Rick about Ratner's that. Reign of Terror. See, no. that's why they did Days of Future Past to erase yeah. Yeah. all of it. <laughs> X Men for and, that, and now we get Deadpool. Yeah. Yay. And speaking of Deadpool, oh, De Deadpool second trailer came out recently. It's just to me, it's just more of what we wanted. It's great. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I think hilarious. It's a lot better than the first trailer. I love this so much. Did I leave the stove on? <laughs> oh, yeah. afraid of me. I'm not dealing with your X Men bull colossus. We're not hurting anybody. I think I was up there before. We was up there when we got here. <laughs> It's great. Like, who was the girl who like... look like the inside of other people? Okay, <laughs> da, 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 da. editing. What? <laughs> Alex, edit that out. All right, and lastly, we got a. Wait, wait, so you can send oh, about oh, wow. that. You're too much man for me. Right now, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna swear every time you say oh. that. I, I'm okay. not, not swear. I'm gonna censor it. Oh. Last but not least, Entertainment Weekly. Uh, published an article where they have pictures of Bener Benedict uh, cucumber. Wait, no, eggs, eggs Benedict, egg, eggs Benedict cucumber batch. Um, uh, oh, God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> Doctor Strange images. Doctor Strange images. Alex said that though. And he looks, he looks perfect. As yeah, Doctor yeah, he looks Strange. so great. Oh, the Chamber of Relics. I'm, I'm, I, I, I was kind of lukewarm on Doctor Strange before now, but now I'm all in. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah let's I do this. I didn't some... like Doctor Strange until Jack released Defenders. Dude, I'm so excited for Doctor Strange because I've been reading the new comics, and oh, my God. And just... Oh, and Aaron, I like Doctor Strange's somewhat stylized art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to pick that up. Shut up, Savage. My local place didn't stock it, so I was like, well, that's that shot to hell. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that's it for news discussion. Anywho, Q and A. Yay! Q and A questions. Uh, All right. So, okay, uh, Faze, you want to take the first one? All right. Um. Uh, hang on. Um, Diego Rivera underscore one asks: Will one of the MBU members do the X Men and Days of Future Past storyline? Don't believe so. No. We're, do yeah. we're doing more X Men. We're doing more X Men stuff later in the year. Yeah. But I don't uh, think we Jared's have. Jared's handling that. We don't have any. Uh, Dop, dop, puts yep. that that kind of messed up yet. the continuity. Dop. Yeah, uh, I think Jared's doing a Nova tie-in. Well, uh, well, somehow it's some sort of problem. There we go. So we're... All right, Jeremy. Uh, BP underscore animation asks, "What's the best and worst movie you have ever seen?" Okay, technically, um, Whiplash or Birdman. They came out last year, and I freaking love them. Well, actually, they came out in 2014. I th I still think it's 2015. Because it's only ten days in 2016, but um, and also, but the my favorite movie I've ever seen is probably Empire Strikes Back or The Force Awakens, um, and my the worst movie I've ever seen, God, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got my ace in the, I got my ace up Green the sleeve here. Maybe Terminator, Jenny Smith. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a good movie. No, it's not that bad. I'm joking. I just wanted to make that joke. Um, oh, Maze Runner: The Scorch Trials. God, it Those like completely. It took a crap on my favorite book series I've ever read. Wait, Maze I liked the first one too. 
Yeah, Maze Runner is your favorite book series? Yeah, it's like one of my favorite book series I've ever read. I oh, okay. I'm um, really disappointed. Ready Player One. Oh, yeah, Ready Player One's actually my favorite book. There you go. Buddy. Maze Runner is one of my favorite books. And I, have way too, I have way too many books. And they completely crapped on it, and I hate it. All right, I'm going to say it. Since I actually God. liked the first movie. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm going to say it before anyone else say, says it. My, my favorite movie is... Uh, empire and my and, oh, yeah. and the worst movie i've ever seen is the room oh but, wait, and attack of the clones that's one of my that's my up. least favorite movie uh the room is um is though i have such a fun experience watching the room because it's, it's so, so bad. bad you are tearing me apart lisa <laughs> oh, i'm sorry i didn't mean to i did not hit her i did not i did I not it is i did not do it i did not hit i did not oh hi mark yeah, we just got a new uh, we got a new client down at the bank. Who is it? Oh, that's private information. Anyway, how's your sex life? <laughs> it's such a bad movie. It's funny as hell. It's great. I love it. I love it. Tommy Wiseau. My, my favorite movie though is either Serenity or The Shawshank Redemption. Oh, and or actually, I saw The Devil. That's really good. But my least favorite movie of ever is The Hunger Games. Really? Damn. Yeah. I read the books and they were okay-ish, and then I saw the first. Uh, movie. Hang on, I'll be right back. And for the first, didn't even for some, you. like it's very, very rare I won't like a movie. But for some reason, everything about that first Hunger Games movie made me want to cry. It was just so bad. I didn't mind it. Um, I like the second one a lot better though. I haven't seen any of the others because I know that at some point, if I like a series, I'm gonna want to binge watch it, and I'd have to start with the first one, and it'd make me want to quit break filming and become a hermit. <laughs> Josh, since Faze left. Uh, best, best movie. I, I know I'm back now. Okay, well Josh is still going. You lost the, your privileges. The best or worst movie. That that best one's tricky. It depends kind of on the mood. Um, you know, I really liked The Man from Uncle, Theory of oh, Everything. You know, Bugs Life. Um, I'm a sucker for any Audrey Hepburn movie. Um, worst movie. Um, uh, Transformers Four. The story oh, was okay, God. but the animation was just disgusting. Um, and it really the movie pissed me itself. off. It's like unwatchable. Um, uh, I saw that I'm on my birthday. I'm a fan of Green Lantern, and people, most people are probably going to kill me for this, but I really didn't like The Breakfast Club. Really? Like, at all. Oh oh come on, God. Josh. Don't you Dude. forget about me. Don't you yeah, forget, forget about, about me. me. Don't 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 we spent like 10 minutes on this one question. Like, all right, fine. If, okay, Faze, if you're complaining, then just rattle off your favorite whoa, worst, whoa, least whoa. favorite movies then. Okay, favorite movie, Kingsman. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot about Kingsman. Kingsman, yes. <laughs> uh, least favorite movie, because I'm a fan of Deadpool, Go Wolverine. Wolf, X-Men Orange is Wolverine. Da, 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 worst movie, because I love Deadpool. Shut up, Jeremy. <laughs> all right, Darklight21 <laughs> asks... Were you and Josh invited to j invited to j join the, the Marvel Saga? Uh, no, because we were in the MBU before the Marvel Saga was created. So yeah, yeah. Hey. All right. If they uh, tried asking afterwards, I have no idea. I've never got any reply, and no one's ever asked me anything. Okay. Josh, take the next question. Wait, no, no. I'm actually gonna take. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, take it. Okay, Mr. Frozen Lake Man asks, what editing softwares do you all use? Um, I use um, Adobe Premiere Elements 14 for actual movie editing, putting sound effects and pictures and all that together. Um, for special effects, I use Adobe Photoshop Elements for 13 um, to do all the green screen because I don't actually have a software that does green screen. Um, so, although I think Adobe Premiere Elements 14 does that now-ish, um, in a sense. Right. Uh, um, I use. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio 11. Don't confuse it with Pro. Pro is so much better, and Movie Studio sucks. Um, but it was thirty dollars, so better than six hundred. Um, I also use GIMP to mask and do like lightsaber effects and blaster effects. I occasionally use Paint.net, and I use Audacity to edit audio files. Uh, so yeah. I use Audacity to edit audio, GIMP to edit kind of visually stuff. 
Um, <laughs> iMovie for general clip assembly, though I just downloaded Oh, yeah, you, you guys forgot Dragon Frame. Oh, yeah, Dragon Frame. That's not frame. an editing software. Well, it's a... That's an it's, animation that's a fr- it's capture a frame, software. It's a frame capture software. Yeah, it's a frame capture software. Uh, I just downloaded oh. the Final I Cut Pro... I thought you could do some editing in Dragon Frame. Well, you, you can, can extend, still, like, freeze frames. You can do it a little frames, bit, but it's And not, you can, like, put audio count. in to animate, too. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I just you recently... Can you guys say my cat purring? No. No. I just no. recently downloaded... Yeah. God! I just recently downloaded the Final Cut Pro trial, and I really like it, and I really want to get Final Cut Pro, but it's $300. So, anyway, I'm going to actually edit this podcast. Oh, yes. It's, like, really stupidly expensive. I'm going to edit all this podcast up. on Final Cut Pro trial, so that's fun. Um, and, yeah. That's, I that's use, all I got. I use a bunch of stuff. Okay. I use Sony Vegas Pro 9. <laughs> I use Paint.net. And that's... Uh, oh, I know Audacity, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro 13, which I obtained through some highly legal means. Um, <laughs> Hit Film 3, which I use for stealing all their stock footage. Um, and GIMP for like thumbnails and, and individual frame stuff. And uh, I, I use this online Photoshop called Lunapic for some stuff because it's really easy. And I use Audacity to edit lines. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just take yeah, this that, one. Yeah. I'm gonna take this one. The Lego Product ask asks, "Is John Cena jo- going to join the MBU?" And somebody didn't see the first episode because he's already in. So we're not doing that joke again. Lame Gecko, do you guys plan on doing anything connected to the Savage Lands, like Moon Boy, Kazar, or Devil Dinosaur? Uh, what? That was interesting. I don't think we have. I have no idea planned. what any of that is. You don't know. Say, the... I, I don't know what those are, but it sounds quite interesting. Base, yeah. stop this moving happened. around on the nine. dock. It... Please stop. Phases, fa- <laughs> phases, like, like popping little... up everywhere. Phases indicators just like going all over the place. The Savage Lands, yeah. the Savage Lands is the area like in Antarctica where there's like dinosaurs, right? I think it's like it's like it's like a like tropical it's like a tropical forest in in the middle of Antarctica. Uh, underneath Antarctica, maybe. Oh, is it underneath it? Right. Oh, so it's like Ice Age three. Right? I don't know. I mean, it's just it's like, I don't know. I've never. I don't. Ice Age three like. brick films. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have anything planned for it right now, but anything's possible in a universe hey, of infinite possibilities. Tries. Yeah. It's on the next one. Uh, uh, you you can get it, uh, Josh. Uh, Baffling zero six zero six. Are you looking forward to seeing Jared Leto as the Joker in Suicide Squad? Yes. yes. Hell yes. Half a, I, I'm fifty fifty. I saw yes. the, I saw the magazine cover. I saw like Joker's got abs and stuff. I'm like, what happened to the to, to this flimsy guy in the pink suits? Yeah, I was. No, I saw. I, I saw I the mask. How do we know he's not ripped underneath the purple suits? <laughs> He de- he does uh, CrossFit. He so. could be completely like ripped under the purple suit, and we have no idea. <laughs> Harley Quinn helps him with his yeah. CrossFit. But so. I think it's just it's an interesting take on the character, and I'm interested to see how they use him. After I saw that yeah, magazine kinda cover, 50, 50. I, I kind of after I saw that magazine cover, I kind of backed down a little bit. I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know if this style's gonna get in the way. Even though you know everyone, sure, every, every, everyone, 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 every <sighs> shut up, everyone hated uh, initially the. Uh, uh, Heath Jared, Ledger Joker, oh, Heath but then they saw it in no, the film and it was great. Yeah. So we, j- I don't know, just give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'm more excited yeah. to see Joker and Harley Quinn together on screen than I am to see Joker. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be great. All right, Jeremiah. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn is perfect. Jeremiah, come on, we gotta keep it going. Yeah. Sp underscore Lego underscore Productions. Who started the MBU? Well, so Jack and Kanan. And then we merged with the Lego Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe, which at the time was Crossfield Films, the Lego Bricks, um, Jimmy Seven Three, some NLM, I think, Darren. I don't know if Austin was part of it yet, but um, I know he joined at the merge though. Um, so that happened. So it was just one big MBU. Then um, I joined, and then people joined. So yeah, it was just. It's a. Bu- it's kind of yeah. Basically, Jack and Cannon, kind of. Legend Go. underscore movies asks, any chance on a Secret War saga with Beyonder and everyone? Well, Secret War sucks, and I don't know who Beyonder is, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> you basically just took my answer and your answer and just like combined it. Secret Wars one wasn't that bad. 
So I'm gonna go with no. Yeah. As of now. I don't, uh, yeah. No plans, but anything can happen in a world of infinite, in a universe of infinite possibilities. That should be like a little tagline. Anyway, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Uh, 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 Grant Lego Studios asks Grant, Jeremy, like- <laughs> "How did you get your Lego Iron Fist series for the MBU?" Okay, so this is a really, really interesting story, actually. Okay, so I joined the MBU. Not sure if you were sarcastic or not. Was I am being sarcastic, like uh, really sarcastic. Uh, um, and I was talking to Jack, and he was like, "What, um, what series do you want to do?" I was like, uh, "I don't know." And so I was talking. I came up with a couple like superheroes that looked cool, and I was talking to Austin Rick Ranger, and I was like, "Which one do you think I should do?" I, had, like, I forget what the other two options I picked with, but one was Iron Fist, and he was like, "Dude, Iron Fist is cool." I was like, "Okay, I'm doing Iron Fist," even though I had no idea, and I had no, I had no idea who he was, what, what his powers were, what his origin is, or anything. I just knew he looked cool, so I was like, "Yeah." I told Jack, I was like, "Okay, I'll do Iron Fist," and he was like, "Okay," and then, and then I was like really surprised, and I love Iron Fist now. So yeah, it's so interesting, right? I mean, like, I just like said Iron. Fist after looking at a list of superheroes all right <laughs> it's the best story ever uh josh you can take the last question here all righty jess.jane.drew uh asks will there be more original characters created by the brick filmers for the mbu um um don't for, know i mean there'll probably be it's side jack. characters we already have like, some original characters i know but so we jack already have some... really covers this what we're probably not going to yeah. come up with a lot of like Jack put out his guesses. I mean, we'll come up with like original side characters, maybe, but yeah, just whatever the script calls for to make it awesome. Yeah, I thought yeah. one of the characters in Iron Fist was a made-up character at first, like in episode four or so. But I read the comics, and he actually is in the comics. So. Thanks everyone for listening again to the third episode of the MVU podcast. <laughs> I've been one of your hosts, Alex. Did you say second? No, yeah, third. You said the second episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> Take three. I, I'm going to go back and, and, and hear that I heard third, and I'm going to hate all of you. All right. Thanks, everybody, li- again. <laughs> thanks, everybody, again for listening to the third episode of the MBU podcast. I've been one of your hosts, Alex, here with Aaron. Yo. Josh. <laughs> Yay. Jeremy. Woo! Was that Jeremy? That sounded like yes. FaZe. Yeah, and, uh, and, and, and we got and our special guest today, FaZe. Thanks for coming on, FaZe. Hey, sharing some stuff about Nova with us. Make sure to check out Nova when it comes out eventually. Make sure to check out all the videos we mentioned. Star Wars. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Star Wars, Quick, am I right? Quippy outro spoken by Alex. Boom, third podcast complete. <laughs> bye. Oh. You guys could say bye as well. Bye. 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 bye.